Hey everybody! <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. In the last episode, we had reformed, or we had <laughs> we had assembled the Bean Star, as we see. Where is it? Uh, right here. And we were also given a fake Bean Star. And now, well, and also the last episode, we did some side questing, getting items around the uh, Bean Bean Castle area that uh, we could get and that I didn't show off in other episodes. Long and drawn out episode, I know, but I feel like it was worth it to do that because now we're heading off to Joke's End. If I can uh, figure out which uh, button to press. Joke's End in the top right. The crypt where Joke's End. Alright, but before we do that, we're going to want to buy, because, uh, yeah, we now have new mushrooms, nuts, and syrups for sale. Oh, actually, before I shop here, uh, I want to put on the, uh, cobalt necktie, as I think we'll find it useful to have some chopped prices. So... This is looking better already, with max mushrooms being $101, max nuts being $124, and max herbs being $84. So, I don't really think these are worth it, to be honest. These are not worth it at all, as this recovers $100, we could get it for $40. This recovers $100 each, <laughs> we could get it for $70, and... Super Serps, you can get, if you have the Game Boy Horror, you can easily just get half of these items. You don't really need to buy too many of these items. Oh wow, perfectly enough. So, I'm not gonna buy that much. I'm gonna stock back up until we have 40. Should I go to 50? Uh, you know what, I'm gonna go to 50, get that nice number. And... I think other than that, we're actually doing quite nicely. Like we're doing, we're doing pretty well for a lot of these items. And if I need any more super shroom or uh, super um, syrups, I can kind of just fight normal enemies with the Game Boy Horror around town. It's not that big of a deal. So I don't really see a point to, at this point, to buy too many recovery items. Because if I wanted them while grinding for money, I could literally grind for the items. Um, doing that actually makes me want to check the other side of town to see if they have anything new in this shop as well. I don't know if I checked it or not, but I think it'll be worth it to check. Um, we'll go for hot new fashion. Oh, they do. Bean star pants. Peasley slacks and queen bee, queen bee jeans. Um, this is noticeably better than the iron pants. But, I don't think I'm going to take him. Oh, this is actually really good for Luigi. Um, I don't personally think, I think getting rid of, oh. This allows you to first attack, first strike. That's pretty good for Luigi, because he doesn't often first uh, strike. Uh, as for this, I don't think any, like having... Gravity status is not really good because it really messes up your timing. So, I don't really think any of these are too worth it as it gives you light gravity status. And these are good upgrades, but I think we can get better. Um, I, I think we current well, I think we currently have slightly below this. I don't think it warrants the $330 price tag it has, even 40% off. So, uh, let's go into flashy badges and see. We have the salvage badge, the Opea badge, or the Opea, and the brilliant badge. For Mario? These actually do quite a lot. Item grab. Attracts monsters that have items. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Like, if I go into a battle, it will make it so then... Like, let's say I get into a battle with, like, a Sharpie. A, sh a Sharpie. Sharpie. Sounds like I'm saying a 
marker. It'll uh, it'll automatically put in one of the uh, uh, swarms. I don't know. It's interesting. And then for Luigi, um, this actually gives quite the power up, except it doesn't give power D. You know what? I think it'll be worth it to uh, buy one for Luigi. As Mario's items are actually already really good. <laughs> like, that Chocola badge really does its work. Oh, I'm using the Steady badge. Oh. I thought I was using the Chocola badge. Why aren't I using the Chocola badge? Oh, because it lowers BP. Oh. I get it now. Does Luigi currently have... Jeez, Luigi currently has more POW than Mario. Never thought I'd see that day. Alright. And then, his iron pants. I think using the iron pants for a while will be pretty nice. So, we'll, uh, we'll go back to the, uh, Game Boy Horror. And then Luigi, um, I'll, I'll give him Greed Wallet. I feel like, uh, It'll be nice to have a lot of money for, uh, later on. Which we can spend to our heart's content. So, what we're gonna want to do now is head east. Northeast, southwest. I still remember my directions from grade common knowledge. Um, and if you remember, we had this black rock down here. Bean Bean Beach Surfing Spot. So, we'll be able to go over here now and talk to him. Huh? You wanna cross the sea? Why, such a thing is impossible without a surfboard, that is. Say, maybe if you can find something, hint, hint, wink, wink, green, to jam in that hole, maybe it'll make some sort of surfboard substitute, maybe. Well, we have a brother that can get shrunk down. We'll do that. And now we got a little Luigi surfboard that we can uh, cruise around on. And, um, I personally think the, uh, the surfboard handles a little weird as you can't, you can't change direction. You have to slow down before you can, uh, or you can't change direction. You have to go in a circle unlike on the mainland, which is, uh, I find can be kind of confusing. So, you also have these little balloons, which you can pop. Oh. Which give you items. So, I actually, uh, actually missed an item right down here, which we can get. Oh. Can't go upstream. And we can now go to, uh, this spot along, uh, the uh, shore. And grab ourselves a uh, chuckle bean. And. Oh, it's gonna be tricky. But I believe we can spin jump down. Oh! Down here barely got that. And that's it for right there. But other than that, there are a couple things, and as I mean a couple, I mean literally there's only two things that we can really do out in the sea, and uh, one of them is pretty, pretty easy, and the other one you might find yourself having some trouble with. So, let's grab this money. And, uh, I hopefully should stumble across it. Okay, I'm trying to stumble across it, but I'm trying to go for money right now. Oh, wow! Look at that! And if I'm correct, yeah, we have a- oh. Right up here, we have a little island with a golden Monty Mole on it. 
pretty nice. And how you're going to want to get to this golden Monty Mole is up here there is a uh, little whirlpool that you're going to want to surprisingly go into. Yeah, first first time you're ever going to want to go into a whirlpool ever. But, we now are in Oho Ocean. And, if, uh, in relation with the map, we can, uh, we can kind of see where this links up. Um, and yes, you are not able to get this item until now. This is the, uh, it's the only time you're able to get it. Well, you can get it later on, but I think you get it. So we get a, a one-up super. Not that great. No golden mushroom or anything. No no piece of armor equipment. But one-up super's not bad. And we can uh, we can definitely see where this uh, links up now. As the first time we came into Oho Ocean, we were unable to get to this point. gotta make your way back over here and uh, this is actually where the uh, SS Chocola sank so it gives us a really good kind of view on where the world is so um I'll be back in a second once I'm uh, up the pipe and back into the ocean all right so now that I'm back in the ocean I'm just a little uh, south. Oh, thank goodness I can't land on there. Um, there's. I, I lied when earlier I said there's only two things. There's three things that we can currently go do in the Oho Ocean. One of them is come back over here to um, Oho Oasis. And uh, we can now unlock a surf spot back over here. So if you wanna fight some Oho G's because you forgot to grab the uh, Oho G wear on the uh, on our first trip here then uh, you can now do that um, but other than that there's nothing new here I feel like I shouldn't be able to walk there oh well so and um, with that there's only one more thing that we can really do in the Oho Ocean Oh, and if you're wondering... Oh, wait, no. That's a lie. I was about to say, if you're wondering, uh, there's... Uh, you can you can also make it to Guarhar Lagoon from here as well. Um, so, don't be mistaken. Not every single whirlpool will go to a Mati Mole. Um, do not recommend going inside of all the other ones, because you're going to get, you're going to have to main, make your way out of that. So if I can just find this thing. Well, I managed to find my way back to Guarhar Lagoon. Not exactly what I was looking for, but I guess it's all right. So I'm gonna try and find this thing. I don't want it to take that long because I'm already pretty far into this video and what I'm wanting to do may actually take quite a little while as I'm not exactly the best at this game. Uh, what I want to do. Uh, is this it? No, that, this is Oho Oasis again. 
I know it's somewhere in the south. I'm just un. I'm. I'm. I just don't know where it is. Normally, it doesn't take me this long to find it in a casual playthrough. So I'll be back in a second. Here we go. Um, it was uh, it was a bit more west than I thought. So if you go just a like a screen or two to the right of Oho uh, Oasis and down a screen, you're gonna run into this guy right here, cool Afro guy. I've got a little game going on here. Any chance you two might be interested in playing? Yeah, sure. Want to hear the rules? No. Oh, okay. I kind of was just spamming through. So, uh, this mini game, uh, you have to go through and you need to pop all of these, uh, balloons. Um, as this little, um, mini game. Um, it can get pretty tricky. Not impossible. Oh, as you can tell, I'm dreadfully bad at this mini game. So, as you can imagine, you're probably gonna want to try and not hit the bombs. As they uh, decrease time, and the faster your time, the better of items you get. Can I at least break a minute? I didn't even break a minute. Finished! 101 seconds. Let's see how you did. You elapsed time. Your elapsed time is over one minute. Uh, well, that was your first time, wasn't it? Sorry, but that performance will earn you no prize. Try and do it. Are you serious? I don't get a prize for doing it. All right. So, uh, you don't get, you, I'm just gonna say it here, you get different beans according to your prize. And you get a, uh, you get a special item. If you do it in a really fast time. But you need to hit it near perfect. You could probably tell I don't like this mini game, but the item for it is so good. So uh, on the screen, I'll pop up with the what what beans you get per prize, and I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave the final prize actually a secret. Oh, I didn't trigger the mini game. I was wondering what was going on. I'll leave the final prize as a secret for getting a really good time. Um, but you can actually get who beans. So before we didn't have a way of getting who beans, but now we actually have a way of getting them. So they're no longer a like a rarity. They're they're no longer a rare item that you can uh, that you can only get from hidden blocks. You can now get them from this mini game. But you have to be super good at this mini game and get a really nice time. Something that I clearly lack the ability to. I don't know how I'm going to do this. As you need to get it perfect to get the Who Bean. And I can't even do it perfect here. Of course, I am doing live commentary, so that, that does make it a little harder. But can't use live commentary as an excuse for everything. So... I'll just cut it until I either get a uh, beanie reward or I get a uh, or I get a uh, good item. <sighs> I might be here a while. 
So, um, I'll be back once I get something of any value. Okay. So, I got, I got 48 seconds, which is better. But yeah, we did. I lost 48 seconds. So, uh... What? Did he just... Did he just give me a who bean? I thought I needed to get below 40 seconds for a who bean. Alright. Well, it's not the item. Alright. Uh, I gotta go look up the prices and whatnot, because... I, I'm gonna do the prices like I said, I was gonna do that entirely in post, I'm not looking at any of the prizes or anything. So, uh, once again, I'll be right back and I'm also gonna look up the prizes for this <laughs> surfing minigame, because I really don't know. Okay, so, I just barely got the threshold for, uh, the next prize. Which is a chuckle bean. But there's still more prizes, so I'll be back. I didn't even get it. Alright, so for getting about 40 seconds, you get two Who Beans and two Chuckle Beans, but I still don't have the item. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. Alright. So, I, I have my mic muted for this. Where, uh, I, I managed to get the casual coral, which is what you will get upon receiving 38 seconds. These are amazing <laughs> equipment. Uh, I may sound very uninterested right now. I just spent 45 minutes <laughs> playing this mini game. It's it's not a very fun mini game and I don't like it. So <laughs> I'm happy that it's over. No. I do not want to play again. So I'd like to take a look at this. Um casual coral. It can go on either bro. Yeah. and has a 60% poison dodge along with it. So look at the iron pants, which are amazing pieces of equipment. Casual Coral's better than that. So out of both the bros, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on Mario to get rid of that heavy G. And uh, yeah, so I just spent an hour on one episode, and this will probably be the longest cut of an episode that I've ever done. 
Alright, cut out literally 45 minutes of an episode. But, oh well. That's it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Because heaven knows I haven't. And I'm gonna get back up to the island up ahead and save my game. Alright guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode.